you're watching a clip from the club, make sure you give it five stars on Spotify. Make sure you check out the podcast. Link in the description down below. I've done this take better than Roy Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on now to mid-season <laughs> predictions. Okay, I'm good at predictions. Oh, you, you're amazing at predictions. I never get them wrong. I've never got one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you said Haaland won't get 15 goals. He'll get 50. Uh, <laughs> left yeah. Out yeah, there's something wrong with your hearing. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about first, we'll go with relegation. Um, we'll work from the bottom up. Uh, that's what Boovy loves to do. Um, what are you thinking relegation wise? Is anyone that you look at and think they're gone? Yes, one club. And it's interesting because. Even I though think, it's very tight. I think a lot of the. Six a lot of people separate, will 13, disagree with me on this one. I think Everton, despite the appointment of Sean Dyche, are gone. And I've just had a £100 bet in the pub with Cal Freezy to that effect. I think You've been Everton, in the pub with Cal Freezy. Yeah, I'm so drunk. This explains... They're two points this. off for us. Hmm. They're two points off safety I know. with Sean Dyche. And I think their starting 11 is a top 15 11. Do, do you know Easy. why I think they're top gone? Top 15 11. But you know what I mean? They're not a bottom no five. Yeah, top, top 10 usually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? They're, not they're quite top 10. 15 yeah. and above for me, they're, they're starting 11. Do, do you know why I think they're gone? And it's nothing to do with Sean Dyche. I rate Sean Dyche so highly. I like him. Like I genuinely do. I think he's an excellent manager. Mm. But I think Everton are just... A basket case. I think that the people in charge of Everton are so... I think the club is run so poorly. I think it's the worst run club in the league, undoubtedly, mm. that it's, it's irrespective of who's in charge, mm. the club are in trouble. So you constantly change the manager, but the results stay the same. Very few clubs does that happen but to. But your points, your points are very accurate in terms of a, a five-year trajectory for Everton. But we're talking, can nope. Sean Dyche get two banks of four or, or four and a five with, with Dominic calvert lewin up front and get enough points like Lampard did at the same point last season just to keep them up? Ahead of Bournemouth, ahead of Southampton, they're playing a load of young kids. Leeds United are conceding I, goals. I, 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 I think I'd Everton argue so. will stay up. I don't think they're a set. I think the one set is Southampton. I think with Nathan Jones in charge. Um, See, I think he's scrappy. I, I yeah, think Nathan I, Jones I, is scrappy. I, 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 taking I, form, beat City in the League Cup. I think he's scrappy. I've, I, I've, yeah, I completely I disagree. I can see Southampton. All right, we're going to have to do our own relegations then. Who, who for you is going down? I um, think we all agree on one, don't we? It begins with a, a B. Who's that? Bournemouth. Do we all agree with that? Yeah. You know, they've been sliding down yeah. the table. They were kind of in around yeah, mid-table when they sat, uh, they sat uh, Scott do you Parker. Believe, do you believe with me? Do you agree with me on this one? Leeds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they I think concede far too got, many goals. Unless Bamford stays fit and he gets right I, into an, an he can level stay of four, as fit as he wants, useless. One, I think he changes it for them. One Bamford massive, what, at least one massive club. And when I say massive, I mean Leeds United, Everton, and then a, and then a big club, not a massive club. Do you think West, West Ham, Ham are in one of danger? Yeah, West Ham are in danger. danger. You don't think mm. the players like Declan Rice and ultimately come good? They've just, funnily enough, they just signed Thingy and he got injured. It was Danny Ings? Danny Ings, Danny Ings yeah. yeah. Got injured straight away. Got, got injured. Yeah, I don't think, I, I think Everton saved themselves. <clears throat> I think Leeds potentially get dragged into it. Mm. Um, I think Southampton are gone. And uh, the last one I'll do is... Bo I think Bournemouth. Wolves Bournemouth, yeah, away. Yeah, Bournemouth, Bournemouth, yeah, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bournemouth, Leeds, Southampton, I'm going. Yeah. I think it's very difficult. Yeah. Like, see, I, just, I agree with Adam. Actually. I think it's very difficult. I think Bournemouth go. I believe Everton will still go. Not because of Sean Dyche. Just because I think the squad is, is in turmoil. I think that there is... It's almost a civil war going on at that club. There's so... No, yeah, there's a lot. It, there's a lot wrong. There's so much wrong with that club. Like, if you know if you ask all the questions... In terms of the most important things about fixing the structure of that club, mm. the manager is almost but, incidental. But the, the structure of the club doesn't matter for the for fourteen Premier League games. Of course, it does. For fourteen Premier League, there's no transfer. The transfer window is basically over, as a, mm. as upon uh, filming this podcast. So, uh, can he set up two banks of four and, and and keep clean sheets, nick goals with with, with Dominic Calvert Lewin, for example? Oh no, you've got you've fantastic. Got, you've got some good players in there. But ahead of form, very very Bobby. average players in there as well. Connor Cody's a good defender. He's so been you fantastic. both think Everton are gone. I no, you no. agree with me. You no, think no. Everton. I think, I think Bournemouth think... are gone. Bournemouth, Everton. I think one more Everton. The, the, do you know what? What I'm finding very difficult here is I don't think two massive behemoth clubs like mm. Everton and Leeds go in the same season. But are you looking at it the wrong way? Yeah, in terms of... Because we all thought football, Fulham were gone and they're not going anywhere. In no, terms exactly. of purely football, I can see Leeds going as well, but that would be terrible for the Premier League. For the Premier League to lose Everton and Leeds in the same season yeah. would just be abysmal. Be like, they're such big clubs. We want those clubs in the Premier League. So those are our predictions for yeah. relegation. Yeah. Um, 
reminder, mine and Boovies with Southampton, Bournemouth and Leeds. Uh, top four predictions. At the moment, you've it's obviously easy, got isn't it? Arsenal and City tap-ins. Yeah. So we'll talk about them in terms of our Newcastle and predictions. Tap-in. You say Newcastle, Newcastle and United are on the same amount of points. Do you know who I'm finding very difficult to completely write off here? Spurs. Liverpool. And I know that I might yeah. be wrong on that. I'm just I think, finding I it think so last, I think that season's got you scarred when they had all the injuries and stuff. I just find I think it very Spurs are the one you don't write off. Ben Tancor's just come back into the mix. Keane scored uh, against Dejan Fulham. Dejan right. there. They've yeah. just signed, what's his face? What's his face? Dan Juma, um, who's probably going to take... I love, I love Dan Juma. I love Dan Juma. He came out and he went, Everton, I'm going to keep you up. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not. Sorry, scrap that. Cut. I'm not keeping you up. I'm busy in North London. <laughs> They play each other too in April. That'll, yeah. be, that'll be an interesting game. New, Newcastle made things really hard for everyone because obviously they're a bit of a wall. I think people thought maybe another year mm. before they, they really got into the Champions League places. So, so it's made, what, one spot available for Spurs, Could for the Liverpool, expectation for Champions League It's a remix of Spice Girls 2 become one. But yeah. three become what, could what, the expectation kill them? You know how Leicester have had yeah. Yeah, the pressure. Could, the if, pressure Leicester, could. if Leicester struggled, and they had, I think they had easier goals in their squad when Jamie Vardy was firing... Mm. I think, I think, that I think you could argue the lesser, the lesser side that came fifth back to back seasons <coughs> had a better starting eleven than Newcastle. Do you know if I were to say it like this? Schmeichel. If I were to simply say Liverpool finish above Newcastle, everybody will think that's wild and totally out there, and you're an idiot, Rory. And and on some level, that's true. But I don't think that's that. Ten point I don't think that's no, that it's extreme. Not, no, it's not. I can see Liverpool. I Liverpool could, have a game in hand. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a game of, of how much you can throw at a, a, a 38 game season. How much money can you throw? I know Newcastle got unbelievable money, but we're talking about the money in this Liverpool squad, the money in the, the Spurs squad. Harry Kane nicking goal after goal after goal. Mm. It'll get harder for Newcastle. Salah, Salah's if got they've got eight form. games to go and they're six points clear of Spurs or six but points clear of Liverpool, be a resignation wow, at it's, Liverpool be tight. it's gone. No, I think they've they got, the, they got the second best manager in the world. Yeah. That, that that matters. Our Newcastle done fantastic. I want them to be in the Champions League, but eventually it will get harder and harder for them to score goals. I don't. If you're including Liverpool, you don't think. why I, I, shouldn't I you include Chelsea? Oh, right, yeah. No, we're, they're, we're, they're, so, we're, we're, they're we're bad. But they've got a better squad. No, Chelsea. Chelsea could not look. Liverpool. Yeah, they have. Chelsea could do it. Look, look, it's not. It's not what I don't think Chelsea are going to do it. But if you're putting, you know, you know, if you were genuinely going to going to say who's going to finish in the top four, will it be Chelsea or will it be Tottenham? You have to go with Chelsea because history has taught us that when it's Chelsea versus Tottenham, the answer is Chelsea. Mm. History has taught you that over over decades. This isn't about Abramovich era. This is this is from the night like the last time they beat us uh, prior. To, like you look at Gary Lineker scoring you. winners. The fight with Newcastle and last season they clawed back Arsenal. Mm. Mm. That's true. But also, I think the fact that Conte is now pretty much admitted that he's not going to be there next year is a recipe for disaster. Well, he wants another job. Right. No, but the, no, but the problem with Antonio Conte is, he's he's wild and he's flammable when he knows he's going to be there for the long haul and he's and he's like playing by the rules. The fact that he knows in six months he's leaving makes him very unpredictable. And it would actually, mm. if I were a Tottenham fan, I'd start thinking along the lines of, are we better off without Antonio Conte now than having a turbulent Antonio Conte for the next five months? Well, he did that with Mourinho. He sat in mid-season before a cup final. Mm. So why not do it for Conte? I think there's a lack of alternatives. I think if, true, if, yeah. you, if yeah. you want, if Potter Ryan wants, he wants not available. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no. top fours, please. Arsenal City and Liverpool. U- United and Liverpool. I can't believe I'm saying. Newcastle. I want Newcastle. I go United, Tottenham. So difficult. I think but you've I, turned I, I, it around we, we didn't talk about United in this section but from the start of the season to now you've turned things around so massively oh, yeah, you're shooting can change. I'm going to go yeah, Newcastle course, and Liverpool does, 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 what United fall off significantly then so where do United come fifth n- n- what or United don't have without the brilliance of Mark Strasser they don't have the goal scorer and Wouty Weghorst isn't the man to do Wouty it Wouty Weghorst he's terrible he isn't the man to do it and they, look how have they done that again how many of your strikers Marcus have Ra- scored in a cup semi-final this season Marcus Rashford's <laughs> Marcus Rashford's form this season has been yeah, yeah. Since, like, his best off, ever but it's one off but you can't rely on that you use can't like, use like use like talking nonsense we'll on. see we'll see we'll see <laughs> let's move it's on exciting though what's yeah, next yeah, 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 yeah cool um, <laughs> title winner now in the same way you mentioned Newcastle potentially being clawed back could Arsenal be because it's be. kind of a similar yeah, 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 story going be. on it could is be. there I just haven't seen a flaw in this art. like the, the teams that the teams that uh, Liverpool are chasing have all at some point demonstrated a flaw whereas the team that Man City are chasing have been the very definition of perfection all season they lost United 
they, they were brilliant in that game, though. Remind them. They were brilliant in that game, though. They were brilliant. They weren't brilliant for 90 minutes. They made one mistake. They made one mistake in that game. There are no holes. Arteta made one mistake that game. Yeah, and when he went, he went for it, he when went he made the it. substitution, went for yeah. it, and he's learned from but that. But those those issues can be exacerbated when there's 12 games, a uh, 12 game run in. If they're still in the Europa League fighting for it, and he tries to go all philosophical with it, he's trying to go full strength week in week out, and he overplays someone. We saw it with Graham Potter. You, you can play these players, and you think they're fit, or you don't quite understand your squad, or something unlucky happens. That could happen to Arsenal. Add into the squad would be the likes of Trossard. Trossard's a fantastic Brilliant signing. Sign. If they get Caicedo, we didn't talk about him in the team of the season. He's been unbelievable for Brighton. They could sign him at the back end of the January transfer window. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, we're going to smash Arsenal and, and we're going to claw it back. But I think there's a bigger window of, of opportunity than many people are suggesting. Do you feel more confident chasing this team than Klopp's Liverpool no. I, I, I would rather ch I'd rather be in this position a thousand times out of a thousand versus the Klopp Liverpool side really the, 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 the 2-1 at the Etihad where Leroy Sane scores off the post John Stones clears it it's about a tenth of a millimetre that stops Liverpool winning that season Liverpool were on course to be invincible the reason I'm they were on course to be double Liverpool... Premier League champions they were going to get 100 plus points mate they were going to get over but the, 100 points but the reason I'm shocked that you're more worried about pulling back a points deficit against Arsenal is because Liverpool had a team that had experience. Sorry, I'm saying I'd rather be in this tight race now than I was against Liverpool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. You're agreeing with one another. You're agreeing with one another. Yeah, we agree. You'd, ra yeah. you'd rather chase Arsenal, who haven't won the league for two decades, than Liverpool, who know exactly yeah, what it sorry. takes to win the league. I'm afraid of uh, Mane, Salah, Van Dijk, Alisson. Those players haunt my dreams every night because of the Champions yeah. League and all that. I, I, at the well, moment, Arsenal's about Saka, a team rather than Martinelli. I know they've got some very good individuals. They're, they're, not, about, just, they're just, not the same just level. Just to put it out there, look, I think Arsenal will win the league. But Arsenal have been in very, very promising positions. Better than this to win the league in the last two decades and they haven't. Do you remember the year? Oh my God. Eduardo Silva, yeah. When, no, Bonus but do, do you know what just happened? Oh my God. Arsenal. He has now convinced himself they're not winning. Oh, the hang on. Change you know, you know what I just yeah. So, yeah. so, so Arsenal played Manchester United in the FA Cup, very similar to this season. Arsenal played Manchester United. Those two teams were going for the league. Arsenal played Manchester United in the FA Cup in 08. United won 4 0. I remember Fletcher scored. Mm. And Arsenal, the following week, went. William Gallas launched his like, one man pro sit down protest. Yeah. Was that Raphael that, and Fabio in the middle of the park? That was all off the back of... Like, look, if you're chasing Liverpool in this situation, Liverpool with Salah and Klopp and whoever else and the backing of the cop, they don't slip from here. Mm. <laughs> Whereas this Arsenal team, I think they'll win the league. I don't think they'll be caught. But in terms of being the pursuiter, you would much rather be chasing this Arsenal. So you think Arsenal are going to win the league? I will have to back City. Who do you think? I think it comes down to the two games between Arsenal and City. City need to win both. And I don't think yeah. they do. So therefore, don't I think don't Arsenal, forget, by the way, lads, this Liverpool, the Liverpool City rivalry where we had 98 points, they had 97. We had to win every single game and we won 14, 14 in a row. Yeah, we won 14, 14 in a row. And tell me if Arsenal have done that yet. They could. They could do that. 